Hey everybody, it's Mike from Audio Maniac, and I'm going to do a little demo on uh, Vacuum, one of the new virtual instruments in the creative collection that comes with Pro Tools 8. So far, all of the virtual instruments that were included in Pro Tools 8, I believe they were all created by the Air Group, uh, kind of Digi's, well, no longer secret weapon, but uh, anyways, uh, those guys kick butt. Everything they make is really cool. So I thought I would show you uh, a little bit about this virtual instrument. It's a virtual analog monophonic synthesizer. What it has is two, you see it says, let's see, VTO1 and then down here VTO2. Well, VTO stands for Vacuum Tube Oscillator. So these are the sound generators right here. What we have is the, the octave, the shape of the wave file sign, and pulse waves over here, triangle, and then a couple other adjustments. There's also this little weird button here that when you press it, it does that. It causes the uh, interface to change to some new sound, but it's not documented in the manual, this little thing. And every time you click it, it does something different. And as far as I can tell, it doesn't repeat either. And it doesn't look like it's going through uh, the presets. So I don't know. Kind of cool, though. So anyways, these there's two different oscillators, oscillator one and two. And the next part of that is the mixer here. And you can control how much of oscillator one or how much of oscillator two you want in there. You could also add a little bit of tube drive right here. All right, one of the cool features in Pro Tools 8, um, it's been a part of their virtual instruments for a little while, but they've included it with all of the new virtual instruments uh, in PT8, is the right-click MIDI assignment feature. So I'm going to make this drive knob here. I'm going to control it with my hardware uh, MIDI controller. And all I need to do is right-click it or control-click it with a Mac. And if you hit Learn MIDI, and then move a fader or knob on your controller. You can see you've got it mapped and it's that simple. And if later on you want to change that, then you just hit uh, forget. And then interestingly enough, there's a ring modulator built into this section. Uh, then next we've got a high pass filter section, this whole section here. And uh, We've got a low pass filter. And then there's also this section here, which is really fascinating. It's the age, it says age right there, uh, section. And what it does is it actually allows you to control how much pitch variation that occurs uh, from the oscillator. And I don't mean that uh, in the way that your uh, pitch bend controller does it. It means there's a slight variation in the sound coming from the uh, the oscillators. When you increase that, you get more variation, and obviously uh, all the way to the left is uh, none. But then you've got this little guy here, which is dust. Very neat. And what it, it simulates is the um, dirt and dust that can uh, get onto old vintage... Uh, uh, synthesizers on on the uh, capacitors and the electronics which causes those vintage uh, synths to have this uh, kind of dirty sound anyways so then we've got the VTA section here which is the vacuum tube amplifier section and this is your master volume in a sense but notice that it still gives you this 
this uh, ability to add some uh, a little bit of tube saturation in there. And then we've got the mod section right here, and uh, we've got envelopes one and two right here, and you can control how the envelopes are feeding, which modulation, and all that kind of fun stuff. Then down here we've got, let me make it a little bigger, we've got the arpeggiator section. Very straightforward. There's uh, there's no menus uh, like in Hybrid, which is another awesome synthesizer. But this is meant to be more like a true analog synth. So, And then we've got our pitch bin modulation section and there's also a small uh, knob here that has some different effects some wah tremolo uh, vibrato and you can even adjust the rate so right now this is set at the default which uh, doesn't sound too good but whatever Well, it depends on whether or not you like uh, sine waves. Let's see what happens when we click our button here. Okay. Click it again. Yeah, so it's kind of like a randomizer. Um, so look at the presets section here we've got for presets it has leads bass arpeggios percussive and effects and one of the presets is a simmons drum simulator it's like being right back in the 80s And it sounds just as crappy as the Simmons drums did. Well, at this point now, uh, I guess it wouldn't be a crappy sound because uh, it's still emulated to this day. But at the time, everybody was like, what is that? Well, everyone except Dave Pensato, who probably loved it. If you don't know who Dave Pensato is, uh, you should find out because he's the best mixer out there. But anyway, so uh, let's hear some of the basses. All right, anyways, and um, let's try one of the leads. Let's try a minor Taurus, or Mino Taurus. Anyways, so here's the arpeggiator. Turn it on there and see what happens. This is up and down, or no, that's just up. Let's go up and down. And let's go up and down. There we go. Very simple. So anyways, uh, there's a brief look at uh, Vacuum for you. I hope you enjoyed this mini demo here, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.